1040, welcome back, boy. Are we in for a treat? Easy to make and refreshingly bitter. We are joined by Gary Grunner, the wine guy, and Alex Uziel, the owner and brains behind Nove di Dante. They're showing us how to make the best handcrafted Negroni. The best? The best. The best. Handcrafted Negroni. You know, we've talked about this before. Um, Negronis are my favorite cocktail, my go-to cocktail. Yep. I love going into restaurants. I love sharing them with friends and family. And every time I go into a restaurant and I order one, the first thing I like to do is stump them. I ask them, all right, I love Negronis. What type of vermouth is in there and what type of gin? They have no answer. They usually don't get asked that question. No. I, I would imagine. They just accept <laughs> it. So Alex is here and he's going to tell you about Nova de Dante, who is probably the world's best vermouth. And he's going to touch on hardshore, because the most important thing in all cocktails ingredients count okay and that's what makes it delicious wow. so alex yeah take it away nove di dante that is your brand you're the brains behind it what goes into making this uh delicious drink here well basically first of all a lot of passion uh, and a lot of heart uh, and a lot of great ingredients because the negroni is the number one cocktail in the world now it's been around for over 100 years and and it's been around because it tastes amazing but also because it is easy to make and you said passion and heart, that's the Italian way, right? Only. You can't make anything without that. That and a little bit of time. Okay, I <laughs> like things, that. Things, things take longer in Italy. So it's been in the U.S. for about a year, you said, and it's doing well. It is doing fantastic. We really, uh, we had a, a great uh, acceptance by the American consumer. You know, we're going through a bit of a revival of vermouth in general, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, about 30% of the classic cocktails have vermouth in one way or another. And... Uh, cocktail recipes are back. Everybody's making them at home. Everybody is uh, is enjoying cocktails, and and that's why the Negron is growing, but also the Manhattan and all the drinks. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, we are we are here, and uh, and it's going very well. So good ingredients. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about making the perfect Negroni, the best Negroni, as you said. Best Negroni. How do we uh, get started here? Well, first of all, it's only three ingredients, right? So uh, you make sure you, that you have good ones. We're going to start with Italian aperitivo or bitter. You can find this one in, in any store. Uh, get a jar, a glass, fill it up with ice to the top. The, the more ice you have, the better. Right. If you have a measure at home, it's recommendable, but here they are uh, equal, equal parts, so right. you can just eyeball it. You're the pro. You, you don't need a measuring just, cup. Just two fingers. <laughs> it's easy. So and bitterness really is one of the defining characteristics of a Negroni, right? Bitter is better. Bitter is better. Okay. <laughs> there you go. It helps. Uh, it, it helps open the palate. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's called an aperitif because it makes you want to to eat. To eat. So, so this is a pre-dinner drink. So this is a pre-dinner drink. Okay. Get you ready. Get you. Uh, get you ready to open that stomach and, For some and pasta enjoy or something. great food, yes. Uh, <laughs> show them the package real quick. Show okay, so here we have, where's the, the camera? Whole... All right, so we have uh, Nova di Dante, okay? Uh, we're using, uh, in this case, for our Rosso Inferno, we're using two uh, of the great wines of Piemonte, Dolcetto and Cortese, and 27 botanicals that we extract at the distillery. We blend everything together, let it rest for a few months, and then we bottle it, all right? So you're going to have... Uh, notice uh, notes of cherry from the from the wine, but then cardamom is coming through. A little bit of orange, a little bit of uh, uh, of 27 other spices, and finishes on a on a flower called tansy. Uh, that's going to be a bitter a lot at the end. Of flavors in there. Delicious. So that goes in second. You start with the bitters, then the nove di Dante. What does nove di Dante mean? Nove di Dante is it's based on the nine circles of hell of Dante. Ooh. Okay, so nine, <laughs> nine for the circles. You see them on the bottle. Yeah, each, yeah. each one is a different botanical. Okay. Uh, and then Dante, which is the father of Italian language, right? We were joking. Yeah. I was saying nine di Dante, like a true American. Nove di Dante. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we put the vermouth in there. What's next? Okay, and then we're left with the gin. Gin. Okay, and, yeah. and choose a good gin. Here we have Harcho. It's yeah. from uh, Portland, Maine. I think it goes perfectly together. It's because it's only five botanicals. Okay. You get a bit of rosemary, a, li a little bit of mint, and of course that uh, that uh, juniper. Okay, so it's a very clean gin. It's not going to mess up the flavors that are coming from the from the vermouth and from the bitter, and it's just going to really give that, that extra kick to the drink. Yeah, sometimes simple is better. Less ingredients are better, right? Bitter is better. Simple is better. I love it. We have a Negroni lot of phrases. Negroni is better. Everything's better. This I'm learning morning. so much today. Okay, so we're putting the gin in. Final step. 
And just to talk about the hard share real quick, what we normally do is we look for family-owned distilleries, family-owned wineries. We look for people that are really passionate about what they do. There's no filler, there's no coloring in any of these products, which is great. You, we know that hard shore, you know, it's Maine, so it's getting all this fresh water from Maine. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jordan's uh, dad owns a farm in upstate New York, and all the wheat comes from upstate New York. So it really is, these two products are total yeah. passion products, really wonderful handcrafts. Well, that is wonderful. We are out of time, but tell us quickly where we can get our hands on Nove di Dante and even Hartshore while we're at it. Well, it's that. available in uh, most stores uh, nationally, and it's also available, obviously, Connecticut. Um, if you can't find it, which is impossible, just please go in and mention Nova de Dante Vermouth and also mention Hardshore Gin, because at the end of the day, you're helping family-owned products, and that's what's really important. These are something that, you know what, they support a lot of people, they're wonderful. Try All that right. Negroni, it's I delicious. will on commercial break, we're out of time. Thank you guys so much. We learned a much. whole lot today, Grunner on Wine as well. You can find Gary on Instagram. Don't go anywhere, and I hope you are hungry. We